Welcome back to Ask Allison. Here is today's question. When you're marketing or connecting to private pay clients, what would be the first thing to hone in on in my marketing? So first I wanna thank Therapy Notes for sponsoring Ask Allison. They are the number one rated electronic health record system available today with live telephone support seven days a week. It's clear why Therapy Notes is rated 4.9 out of five stars on Trustpilot and has a five-star rating on Google. Therapy Notes makes billing, scheduling, note-taking, and telehealth incredibly easy. And now for all you prescribers out there, they are introducing ePrescribe. If you're coming from another EHR, Therapy Notes makes the transition incredibly easy importing your demographic data free of charge so you can get going right away. Find out what more than 100,000 mental health professionals already know and try Therapy Notes for two months absolutely free. Just click on uh, the promo code and put in abundant at therapynotes.com. All right, so what one thing is going to make it most effective for private pay clients to come to you? The answer is communicating your niche with precision. I said that without precision. Communicating your niche with precision. Um, when there are other options, it's extremely rare that a potential client will pay out of pocket for therapy with a generalist. Putting yourself in their shoes, because we've all probably been in that position, let's say you're struggling with panic attacks. You're searching for a therapist. You find someone who takes your insurance, whose website describes not sleeping well because panic attacks are waking you up, the fear of engaging anything unnecessary because the fear that a panic attack will strike, the embarrassment of sweating and crying in front of your boss when one hits during a meeting. You would choose that person every single time over someone who doesn't take your insurance and says they treat anxiety, depression, bipolar disorder, relationship dysfunction. And switch the scenario. The private pay clinician is now the one with the specifics of your lived experience. And the insurance client is the, or clinician is the generalist. If you can afford to pay out of pocket, you will. Now, one of both clinicians describe their niche equally well, and you can afford either. One is private pay, one is insurance. You may choose the insurance based on that based because it's like less expensive, or you may choose the private pay clinician because of the perceived value of a higher cost service. That depends on you. That depends on your ideal client. But the insurance-based clinician will probably get full faster and refer out. They still need their referral sources, right? Most of you want to be full faster. So that sounds good, right? You're thinking, okay, well, if the insurance person's going to be full or faster, then I'm going to do that. But I want you to consider the long game. If you take insurance, I want you to take insurance because you want to take insurance, not because you feel like you need it for your business. Um, in my city, my, uh, the most common insurance reimbursement is about $100. Most private pay I see in my city is between um, $125 and $225. So for math ease, let's say an insurance-based clinician is making $100 per session and a private pay clinician is making $200 per session. The private pay clinician only has to be half full to be making what the insurance-based clinician is making at max capacity. So if you're following marketing best practices, you're going to be full whether you take insurance or whether you're private pay. Private pay may um, take a bit longer to get full, but that doesn't mean you're making less along the way. But I'm getting off track. So marketing, your private pay practice, it requires precision with your niche. Uh, you need a website. Networking is going to pay off in spades over years and years. But the other marketing strategies you choose depend on you. So if you love writing, blog. If you want to connect quickly and are willing to be comfortable on video, sometimes it takes some time to be comfortable on video. If you're willing to do it, do some video. If you love social media, build a following. If public speaking is your jam, get out there. Uh, but make sure whatever you choose is super niched, like Whichever marketing you choose, you're only talking to this one niche. Um, and you talk about that daily lived experience of your ideal client from a unique perspective. Don't let that unique perspective thing mess you up. It doesn't have to be like a whole new theoretical orientation. It just has to be in your voice. Your voice is already unique. Don't let it feel corporate or vague or like anyone else in the mental health space could have created it. Know yourself which I know is kind of like a task in itself sometimes, and show yourself. Don't hide behind what you think professionalism looks like. Have boundaries, yes, but keep your personhood. 
today's free worksheet. I will link to it. It is a list of different ways to market. Choose the ones that you enjoy and at least have a little skill in. Skills can be improved, worked on, but if you hate a particular activity like writing, don't choose it. We talk about this a lot in the Abundance Party. Marketing is so much easier when you're taught how to do it well and you have a crew of people ready to support you. You can join us over at AbundanceParty.com. And if you have any questions for Ask Allison, please DM us over on Instagram where I'm Abundance underscore practice underscore building.